Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Aave. I haven't covered Aave for a while because to be honest it was really, really boring. It still is boring to be honest, but we start to see a little bit of movement down there in the um, support region. So the price dipped into the, let's say, target or support region for this fourth wave that you see on the chart, um, highlighted here in yellow. Um, price dipped into the region between the 50% retracement and the... Um, 38.2 retracement, we are dealing with a situation where, well, Aave is probably, probably moving in a diagonal. It actually started to look quite good initially here. That was June to July. Uh, it was one of the first coins that uh, I called out as a potential five wave structure to the upside. We then had a three wave pullback and the chart was one of the first that actually rallied um, even before many others started in October. So that was a great there was a great setup back then. Um, the price rallied in the third wave, but became increasingly choppy. Reached my target, however, at $119, you might remember that. And from here, we started to see that dip. And yeah, what can I say? A typical corrective structure, just extremely boring. Um, what, I normally, um, what I normally watch out for when we have these corrections is I'm adding a trend channel, or in this case, I could have added also the lower boundary line because it's looking a little bit like a descending wedge, which now might have broken to the upside. And typically when we talk about a wedge breakout, uh, we want to have a little bit of volume. Well, there isn't really much volume there, okay? Um, also, we want to see a little bit of action. There isn't much there. <laughs> but typically the first target of a wedge breakout is the beginning of the wedge, which was up here around the $119 level. That's essentially where I'd like, to, like it to go next. Better would be a move to $138 because this would be the minimum expectation I have for Yellow Wave 5. For Yellow Wave 5, um, that would be Wave 5 of C, of potentially a B wave. Um, there are other interpretations possible. Um, either way, the idea is that after the next high, we have five waves up and it could, um, could give us a bit of a deeper pullback. Don't take it for granted though. I mean, this is a messy structure, so it is also possible and we've got that potentially on the V chain chart and um, that this is just an ABC structure yeah you know, and that could be an A wave and this here is a B wave oh and if the move up is now a C wave then it can go if that's an impulse okay so be aware of that please um, that's why we have these zones and if anybody wants to get a position you know these are the areas to at least look for an entry I would never tell you to buy or anything you know that is a personal decision Depends on if you are a breakout trader, pullback trader, and what is what is your risk appetite, risk profile, all sorts of stuff, time commitment and everything. But essentially, yeah, this is the area where we need to see a reversal before it breaks below $70. Ideally, it doesn't even break below $77. Well, and now we have a reaction to that support zone. Can I already confirm the low is in? No, it's too early for that. I'm afraid that uh, structure continues to be messy. But it's a potential five wave move up here yeah potential five wave move up one two three four five um but i need to see a higher low that's i, I can't really add anything until i see another higher low that's important i can see the potential of an inverse head and shoulders let's say it stretches a little higher higher low and then we have here an inverse head and shoulders and it could break out okay and essentially from an Elliott wave point of view the first move up would be a wave one and the move down would be a wave two and then we talk about a third wave that's the inverse head and shoulders breakout then a four and a five that's sort of what i'm watching here on this chart until then until we get a breakout by the way that resistance level i mentioned is at 90 95 50. That is the level it needs to go above. I'm not telling you we have to get a pullback before breaking above that resistance level, but it's possible. And then it would form a nice inverse head and shoulders pattern. That's my update about Aave. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.